Hi, it's me, William, and today we're gonna laser cut pumpkins. Wait, one sec. Pumpkins. I just dropped my knife. We've already charged up the air compressor. That will go for maybe 10 to 15 minutes of cutting. Um, and I've taken the table off of the laser to fit a pumpkin. I tried using a bowl to support the pumpkin, but even with a small pumpkin, the bowl was too small, big, I don't really know. But pot works great. So the way this is gonna work, which it probably won't, I have no idea if this is gonna work or not, is we're going to take a laser and we're gonna cut the pumpkin. Today's artwork is business cat generated by the cameraman himself. We can try and we're going to try to cut through completely. Uh, I don't really think that's gonna work so well. It might, but everything I've found online shows a lot of charring. Um, but for sure, I think we're gonna be able to remove the outer layer of skin, and this sounds really bad, uh, in the areas we want to create our image. So instead of cutting all the way through, we're just gonna basically in instead scrape the uh, skin off so light can shine through where there's no skin. One of the limiting factors is going to be the uh, depth of field of the laser. And what that means is like the effective cutting depth. Since here you can see the distance from the laser head to the pumpkin is about three quarters of an inch. And here it's, uh, you know, like an eighth of an inch. I think our useful cutting area, um, we can go a little bit bigger just to see what happens, is about 10 centimeters. And now I'm going to turn the ventilation on and it's gonna get real loud again. <laughs> Every time. <laughs> It smells really bad too. It sounds like a sawing almost. Yeah. It's very violent, very gross sounding. Oops. Some of it kind of comes off. It actually wrapped around the corner surprisingly well. Um, and stuff I've seen online doesn't show this burning as badly. So I wonder what the trick is. The defocused areas actually look significantly better. So if we can pull the pumpkin farther away from the laser uh, and defocus the beam, we get a wider dot, basically like a wider sort of pencil mark. Um, and you'll get rid of a lot of this weird detail that you see when the beam gets very focused because it's super tight, super narrow. Let's try that. We'll move the, the focus away and cut it one more time. Maybe three times the gap we had before. It's right side up this time. It's still burnt though. I varied the power through the cut. Uh, so you can kind of see I went a little bit too low and then I increased it way up and the, the higher power seems to do a better job. Cleans it really well. Okay, we definitely have to go the higher power. Look at this. So it actually cut through the flesh completely, <laughs> through the skin completely. Yeah. Test number three. Higher power on the laser, move the focal point even, point even further away, and let's see what happens. So I tried to increase the speed too. I think the problem though is this setup, it can't go fast enough. It's rastering on the smoothie board is, not really. Okay, let's do this. It goes the fastest it can go, which isn't incredibly fast. And if you buy something that can support raster engraving, they can really fly. Like it's, they, they print really, really fast. The detail is kind of lost because we've, we've pulled it so far out of focus. Uh, you can still see the eyes a little bit, but the whiskers are pretty much gone. And so even if this gets lit up, you're not gonna see that detail. So let's, uh, I, don't, I don't really know what the problem is. I think it could be a combination of speed and power. I think you wanna go really fast, but my laser cannot move the head that quickly. So let's, let's try a slightly sharper focus. Oh, we, got a, we have a scrubby brush that we can use. Oh my God, look at this thing. Yeah, it's still no whiskers. You can see, you can feel the whiskers, but you kind of it's missing the skin on the whiskers. So here's the first one. So you've got a lot more detail, but it wasn't carving through entirely. Um, and this is the last one, the second to last one. So let's try this one more time. 
Let's see if we can find a big enough spot. Yeah, right there. I think we can fit a fifth business cat. Uh, fifth times the charm. Business cat number five. Uh, still no whiskers. Still a huge mess. So let's cut it open, light it, and then do what everyone wants. I think we actually spent more time trying to carve a pumpkin with a laser than it would have taken just to do it by hand. And I actually think we could have done a better job by hand. <laughs> let's try cutting through the pumpkin. I don't know what's gonna happen like pretty much anything of this project. This is a mystery that we're going to solve together. Let's do this. Okay, so that actually cut incredibly well. It literally sawed the entire piece of the pumpkin in half. Here, let me take this out. So you can see it cut clean through. And uh, <laughs> I'm pretty sure we could cut through the entire pumpkin if we really wanted to, but that's gonna take forever. And just using a knife would be faster, but it shows you, you do not want to stick your hand under that focused beam. It will seriously do damage. What did I learn? That you can totally laser cut pumpkins. We should have actually cut a design out of it, but we were kind of running out of time and it was getting late. Um, but it works either way. Now if you have a machine that can run faster, that doesn't use a janky G-code hack to do a, a print engraving like this, you can probably get better results than me. Now for the skateboards, I have picked two people. Uh, for the assembled wrinkly fingers, and the unassembled Matthias Sippold, Kippold, C-I-P-O-L-D. Uh, now, I didn't say, but if you're not in the U.S., please be in the U.S. I, it, shipping is going to be more complicated and expensive if you're not in the U.S. So, you guys send me a message, and uh, we'll figure this out. See you next time. Bye.